Hey folks, Matt from RareTheImage.com. A question in from Peter Denham. Uh, Dear Matt, very much enjoying your videos on YouTube here in the UK. Thanks, Peter. And uh, hello to the UK. Uh, please give me your opinion on 4K video equipment. My firm have bought me a 48-inch 4K TV as my retirement gift. Nice. I don't have a 4K TV yet. Uh, so I want to buy something I can take 4K video with. Makes sense. I only really take videos of fairly slow-moving steam trains with my Nikon D7000. In your opinion, should I wait for the Nikon D5, uh, D500 or buy a separate camcorder? I do not use a tripod, so image stabilization is important. Also, I find the glare in live view on my camera whilst taking video is a problem. Would be grateful for your thoughts, please. Many thanks, Peter. Well, uh, interesting question, Peter, and thanks for your question. The D500, great option. You could upgrade and then you get an all round upgrade and you can sell your D7000 because you'll have an excellent higher level camera than the D7000 and that will do the job for you. However, if you want to keep your 7000 and look at a more cost effective uh, option, a couple of them come to mind. The Panasonic G7, which is what I use, it's what I'm uh, actually I'm filming this with the FZ300, which is another option. Let me get back to the G7 for now. So the Panasonic G7. In I know in US dollars you can get this kit for around $599 with the kit lens. You can add a lot of lenses at an inexpensive price. Um, extra batteries are cheap. Everything is a great deal. It's a fantastic camera. It has excellent image quality comparable to the D7000. Um, and you can get it for like I said $600. So I'm not sure what you can get it for in Euro but it's going to be or, or in I guess you'd be in pounds if you're in the UK. Uh, but I think it's going to be a, a good value for you there. Something else to consider, I'm not sure what the price of it would be in the UK, but the FZ300. I'm filming this 4K video with the FZ300. Panasonic camera, excellent image quality. Yes, it has a small sensor, but I'm blown away with how good the quality of the images are. It has an amazing 24 to 600 millimeter equivalent uh, f2.8 constant aperture like a zoom on it, which is amazing. And it does 4K video. And I'm finding the 4K video to be incredible. I'm actually loving this little camera. And this may be your best option to do the 4K video work you want, especially if you're outdoors. You're probably going to be blown away with just how good the 4K on it is. And you won't even know it's a small sensor camera. You're just going to love the fact that you got the 600 millimeter reach on it as well. So I would suggest heavily looking at that or the G7. Those are the options I would present to you as the most cost effective and Probably, like I said, I would really look at the FZ300. This thing is becoming a real darling for me. I, I love this camera. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? We should, you know, Peter, look at the G7 or the FZ300. Maybe the FZ300 is a newer recommendation of mine, but I'm really, really loving this camera. But definitely, I, I you know, those are my recommendations, G7 or FZ300. Is there something else you would recommend? Leave your comments below. Do you agree with my recommendations, yay or nay and why? Leave your comments below. Thanks for your question, Peter. Hopefully, we'll get help give you some more information. You know, my answer plus maybe some viewer feedback will help you sort that out. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.